Hello and welcome to Napster Gaming. We are now on our way to Nibelheim. Not that you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't give us a lift in Nibelheim, could you? A little far. But not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. A feeling this is probably the last area of the game actually. There was a moog a moog uh sorry a mug stall area that said that there was only one more so I'm assuming there's just one more area. Why are they allowing us to fly? I don't get it. Do we get flight in this game? Is this like a, hor a Horizon Forbidden West thing? That would be awesome. Got time for maybe two or three hours, so it'll be a nice little recording session. There's the landing bay. The long shadow of Shinra. Materia. Huh? <laughs> that was a bit weird. Cloud was like friendly. You okay? Yeah. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. It's true. We have been kind of following them the whole game. Okay, one thing. Oh, Odin. Uh, one thing I saw on the flight down was a chocobo stop. So I'm just going to go pick it up. Looks like here somewhere. There it is. No, I definitely, I did, definitely didn't see it inside. There it is. Sneaky. And I think for this area, we're going to go with Cloud, Tifa, and Kate Sif. Feels like they're the most relevant in Nibelheim. Kate Sif obviously knows about the uh, reactor and what we need to actually do. And then obviously it's Tifa and Cloud's like homeland. What was that? No. to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It's dead. 
Aye. Not so worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rug. Because Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important, too. But no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim. But what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. <laughs> this we should be going. Okay, weak to fire. Don't overdo it. You like take your off. Right on. You ready? Let's go for it. Finish him off. Bye. There's no I might play as Tifa actually, I'm really enjoying her quick combat style and there's obviously a, it's a lot more like dodging than blocks. Okay, I think it actually makes sense to go get the chocobo first, if we can. So let's just run in that direction. These tracks look pretty chocobo-y, don't you think? So they blow up and deflate. They've just deflated. My problem is that Chocobo can see me and so can that. Maybe I don't go this way. The game's not just going to allow me to jump down, is it? Of course it's not. Oh. Okay, starting to make a bit more sense. Okay, so... This aiming is weird. What is it doing? Let's 
Try that again. All right, why can I only throw it a massive distance? What the hell? Just see what that does. So that did absolutely nothing. Do I need to move them? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, patience is the key. Shit. Oh, that was so lucky. Okay. No, no, you stay there. That's fine.
one fat joke about it, isn't it? There we go. Selena Gomez. Coco Jet ability. traversing easier. I say that and I run into a wall. Okay, so should we do the intel as we are on route? I think so. Oops. Uh, I want to go this way really. Wow, so you can like glide. Actually glide. Uh, we're not going to go that way yet. So can I get up this? There you can. Nibelheim's not far now. First time back since. Yep. First time. Same here. Didn't seem worth coming back till now. I didn't think there was anything to come back to. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Lots happened since then. No, come on. Abs, focus. Let's just go to Nebel Uh, Cloud, stay close, would you? <laughs> I honestly thought I was ready for this, but... It's just... Too real. No. Oh. oh, it's built up again. Look at this. 
They rebuilt the whole village. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. <clears throat> I mean, I thought he got us lost, because it looks different. So, who do you think we built it? Shinra. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find. This is Nibelheim. Okay, let's check out the area. So those creepy outfits you see all the time. Well, shit. A lot of robes out here. Yeah. And look. Locals. Only they aren't quite the same, are they? Hello there. Can I help you? Greetings, good sir. I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... you know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. Okay, um... Check it out. Don't stay too long as well. As piss off. Uh, let's check out the shop. Another six months and I'm out of here. Hope I can end on a high note. You used to live here a long time ago, right? We'd appreciate it if you didn't cause us any trouble. Word spreads quickly. Yeah, see, I knew I missed a collar. Resounding megaphone. Right, let's get two of those. And two of those. Barrett and Tifa is the gone. This isn't your home anymore. Remember that. Piss off. Uh, Tifa was the 
gone. So was Barra. And then. Was it Aerith? No, it was Yuffie and Cake Seaf. And then he can also get this. Okay, and then red 13. Maybe I didn't miss it. No, oh, I don't know. It's magic based. Wow, 30%. So that sorted. Let's speak to Aerith. Question: This always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, "Climb me!" Doesn't it? So let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just. <laughs> see you later, Aerith. All we do is bend over backwards for these people, and it's all we know. So that. Oh, what a pleasant surprise! Say, why don't you and those robed folks pose for a photo? It turns out that Shinra's in charge of the treatment facilities here. Getting permission to take pictures was not easy. All my photos will be reviewed, and if Shinra sees something they don't like, it's theirs. Just gotta impress those suits with some nice shots. If you find a good photo spot, don't hesitate to let me know. So that's Mount Nebel. It cuts a rather. St I'm okay, always we can go get that photo spot. with the so have... air, um, whatever it's called, the watchtower. Let's leave air of hanging for a bit. Go to Tifa's house. Well, you what was her house? Through, I take it. If you are feeling unwell, though, you'll have to. Wait. You might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos on their arms. You know, hmm? I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was going to do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. So when avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. 
Then you turned up. Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, always be looking at me? I, uh, what? <laughs> Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. Kinda hate that about myself. Gotta get it together. Gotta get it together. Oh, piano. I'm not sure why that is myself. Please, just let me know. Oh, as if. Dale. No, Dale. Leave the man alone. I can play Queen's Blood with you, if that's what you want, okay? I'm so sorry. This is Dale. He loves playing Queen's Blood more than anything else in the world. Actually, I don't suppose you would mind playing a match or two with him. Just real quick, I'm not the best player. So I think he's been looking for someone who'll give him more of a challenge. Okay, let's just go with our deck. Hmm, not the strongest opening. Get rid of that one for now. Maybe Titan for now as well. You little bitch. I forgot about that.
get wrecked. That's all I'm gonna say. seen him this happy it must have been a great match that's enough Dale he has other things to do I'm sure thank you so much for taking the time to play with him have to look after them. This is where we care for the patients. No need to wear yourself out. Let's rest. Let's go find the second Queen's Blood player. My mom needs us. Which means I can play Queen for you. You! You don't happen to be a card player, do you? It's no use denying it. You're slacking off because you want to play Queen's Blood. Because you're just like me. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't, comrade. The name's Turner, the top truant. I say, screw working. I'm all about playing hooky. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who's better at it than me. I don't give a damn about demotions. Prepare yourself! All right, let's go. Um, let's, let's try it. Oh, no. Okay, so...
you little shit. Uh, I can do something here. That was impressive. I didn't think you beat me so easily. When I entered contests on the clock, I always won. Wait, could you be more of a slacker than me? But I devote all my time outside of roll calls specifically to playing Queen's Blood. Oh, I see. You're unemployed. Living the dream. <sighs> no, that's none of my business. You're a bigger fish. That's all. It was an honor to have played with you. I hope I'll have another chance someday. Okay, we probably shouldn't keep our of waiting. Being a caretaker is To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. Which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn, where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall, the general store, and that there, Tifa's house. Wave cloud, fuck's sake. So let me guess, this is where you kept lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? Probably. Sounds like something I'd do. If I was in your shoes, I would have been up here all the time. I'll feel a bit bad for Aerof after that. I'm gonna head down. 
think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. Oh, right. He <laughs> can actually just jump it. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Um, so I think we've done everything there. Oh. I need to find everyone else. Okay, no one's in here. decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? I just want to know what they're rounding them up for. The hell if I know. Nothing good, though. Where's Red 13 and Kate Sith, though? Cloud's house? Well, now, who might you be? Ah, uh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Uh, in that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, huh? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. Not a chat box, but I will just walk into your house and look at stuff. Now don't you go picking on them. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Mako poisoning? Yep, I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm, or maybe two types of patients? We give them sponge baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw. Lots of them have these number tattoos. That, and needle marks on their arms. Least I think they are. Although, we do get the odd one that doesn't seem to have either. Wait, that makes it three types then. Or four? What needle marks? From their treatments, if I had to guess. And the numbers? Got any idea what they mean? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning, though, doesn't it? Oh, uh, hello. I just love our head chef. She always keeps things interesting around here. Okay, so nothing else in here. So we've done Tifa's house, Cloud's house, the inn, the weapon store. Uh, oh, maybe I missed someone in there. Uh, get my bearings right. Why not visit some of your old haunts while you have the chance? You never know, you might remember something nice. So what's the story here exactly? Because for a cat, he has an awfully high level of clearance. It's more than a little suspicious. No average employee should be able to access what he can. To wear yourself 
Cool, I think we are done with this episode. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next.